Hello everyone, it's uh, me once again. Hope you guys enjoyed my live stream on Victor last night. It was <laughs> it was twelve o'clock in the morning, and I thought oh, uh, I apologize if I felt a bit slow, if I acted slow on your queries. Anyway, about an hour ago, um, Anki released a new video on YouTube and also an article saying that Anki Vectors, here it is, the title, Anki Vector gets new animations and features ahead of Alexa integration. So I looked at the video clip and uh, it's amazing where if you actually call um, Alexa, uh, Vector's face facial recognition will suddenly turn into a, a blue circle. When you call Amazon Alexa, the mini one, you or the big speaker actually on the top, you get this blue circle. That's exactly portrayed on uh, Vector's face and um, the voice will change to um, Alexa's voice, the female voice that we generally know, understand of um, Alexa. That's a bit of a put off for me. I hoped that the um, Vector would have its own robotic response to that, but it's completely understandable. Uh, they're teaming up with uh, Amazon, I guess. Uh, they want bit of, they want to give um, bit of a credit to Amazon, I guess. But the um, the problems that I have been suggesting, all these seems, I, the thing when I read this article about the updates on huge updates that is um, happening to Vector, it looks like they have heard my voice in some way. I don't think they have any of the stuff I actually watched my video, I highly doubt it. But of all those queries that I raised about has mostly covered on this article so i advise you to read it and um it seems that this alexa system because it's a cloud-based system isn't it that those were all hidden inside vector all all along it's just a matter of time when they programmed it and allowed to be released and if it does get released which I, it sounds like it's going to be end of this year it's going to be fantastic you're going to basically walk into a home where you have this moving cute robot and you could ask the robot to turn on the TV by saying Alexa, which Vector will suddenly change to blue circle and the female voice comes out and says, uh, if you say turn on TV, it will say turning on TV with Amazon female voice on and then the TV will be turned on as long as you got the um, Harmony um, Harmony Hub. So that's that's the thing. But not only that, if you scroll down to the article, um, it says hundreds of animation and reactions are going to be added. Where, for example, last night when, when you saw my live stream, I said, hey, Vector, I love you, because someone asked me to say I love you. Uh, it was it just hardly made any reaction. So those sort of reactions, hundreds of them are going to be added, which is brilliant which is one of the issues I kind of had, but it doesn't really matter. It was for me, it was about the smart home system. Now the major, major issue, which is in here, the, this paragraph, additionally, Anki says Vector's cliff detection. You know this one I pointed out where it gets stuck on the wheel? It's handy uh, ability to stop short of desk and uh, table edges. Now benefits from a more sophisticated internal mapping algorithm that allows to uh, allows it to project out hazards so it seems that they have noticed the problem and they're going to be able to prevent anki being stuck on the edge as well so this is interesting this is fantastic and um and the new effects um so like a lot of basically i'm um, well for example the cube how does it interact with cube those are going to be uh, i said it seems that uh going to be hugely upgraded because all the interaction we were expecting uh, from Vector was that it will just hit the cube with both hands and that's about it. It makes a noising, uh, annoying noise and I end up saying to Vector to shut up um, and the Vector goes and, and, and so on. But it seems those sort of animations are going to be upgraded as well. Brilliant. Um, and overall, for those who are considering, who are not sure whether they should buy Vector or not, um, in the last sentence it says, uh, it starts at 250 and will be available for 30% discount on Amazon. Okay, so all these queries, all those several queries and complaints, especially that I'm, I was the biggest complainer, I have to apologize to Anki for that, um, has now mostly on a short, uh, we're in a short uh, road to short distance to resolve all of these so i'm very excited about it and i want to apologize in some way that if i have been rude that a lot of anki 
uh, fan, anti Victor fans have been offended. I just want to apologize on behalf of them if if it's going to function the way how it's shown on uh, the YouTube video. But overall, as you can see from my facial reaction here, I'm very excited. This is exactly what I wanted. And those who have questioned me whether it's worth the buy or not, if these major upgrades are going to do exactly what they're telling and all the home functions and all these sort of things, small home functions are going to work in a good harmony, I would say 100% go and get it. £250 for this Saturday, 30% off is brilliant deal as well. So think about it. It's going to be a fantastic robot that does many, many, many other things as what Anki, Ve um, Anki Vector team has promised. Buying the product is just the beginning and we're going to be amazed, blown away with the furthermore upgrades. This is one big step which truly amazes me that I'm going to, I am really excited about. So please do get Vector <laughs> and um, enjoy it. It's going to be a fantastic time and um, I hope you like this video as well. Uh, my honest opinion about it. This is not long ago actually so I'm desperately trying to share this with you. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP. All the best. Have a good weekend. Bye.